And you can see that for lower levels of glucose, they're more likely to not have diabetes. And for higher levels of glucose, they're more likely to have diabetes, right? So we can see that intuitively. Can we model that? Can we create a mathematical model that uh, illustrates that, that, that we can use to predict what the probability will be at any point along that glucose line? And yes, we can have a look at this. This is a logistics model. As I move from left low glucose to high glucose, you can see the probability goes up. And of course you could have a threshold. You could sort of say like, look, if it's above 50%, uh, you know, that's 50%. So any glucose of above 141, we would predict is more likely than not to uh, land up with a diagnosis of diabetes. Uh, but you could have different thresholds if you want, or you could look at the exact probability for a specific level of glucose. It doesn't matter. But the point is, we've got this probability uh, associated with a change in glucose level. And that, in essence, is logistic regression. Okay, so it, it really is that simple. Now, and again, of course, here's the code with all of the little annotations and you can copy it and stick it straight into RStudio and replicate that. Um, the data set that I'm using here, just so that you know, uh, let me just see if I can find where I would have put that. I think it'll be in this code over here. Uh, the library, with the, so the package you need to install is mlbench. That's the package that has this data and the data is this Pima Indians diabetes. And that's the data that I'm using. Once you've got that on your computer, you can do everything that I'm doing. 